Billions of people in North America are gearing up for a total solar eclipse today. The path of totality, that's the area that will be plunged into darkness when the moon blocks the sun's light, will extend right across parts of Mexico, the USA and Canada as well. Our North America correspondent Nomia Iqbal reports. This park has turned into a family music festival. There's a stage for dancing, food stalls, bouncy castles, and people camped out. The big star everyone is here to see is in the sky. We wait for things like this, to be able to be outside and not stuck inside on doing something or school or whatever is going on, to be able to spend time together as a family is amazing, especially to see something so cool. One in 2017 was the first one I'd experienced, and, or the first total one that I'd experienced. and. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty mind-blowing. The moon will move in front of the sun, blocking its light and plunging the Earth into darkness for up to four minutes in most places. There will be a total eclipse of the heartland. The path of totality will stretch from Mexico, across the US and through to Canada. The weather is sadly looking cloudy, but everyone is trying to be upbeat. Even if you have clouds, you will be able to see the drop in light, the drop in temperature. But one of the great things about a total solar eclipse is you can see the corona or the outer atmosphere of the sun, which is this beautiful, stunning thing we don't normally get to see. And unfortunately, if there's clouds, we won't see that. Last time this celestial phenomenon happened in the US was in 2017. You may remember this moment. To view the sky safely, definitely don't do what Mr. Trump did there and stare right at the sun. These solar eclipse glasses are your best friends. They are much, much darker than regular sunglasses. They block out the light and radiation. They should also carry this authentic label, which means they meet a high standard of safety. Great. So, yeah, but what you if you're visually impaired? Scientists have made yeah, sure so you won't miss out using box. this box that converts uh, light into sound. There. If we think about, you know, my finger crossing over as like the moon, then it'll slowly change pitch as that light is being blocked into lower and lower pitches and a slower sound too once we hit totality in this case when that sensor is fully blocked. As we exit back out of that, we can hear an increase in the pitch. The total solar eclipse is not just something you see, but experience with your whole body. You feel temperatures drop, you hear nocturnal animals wake up, as day becomes night for several breathtaking minutes. Nomi Rickbell, BBC News, Texas. So, for those of us who aren't lucky enough to be in the path of totality, what can we learn from this event? I asked Professor Emily Brunston from the School of Physics at the University of York. So this is unfortunately not an eclipse for us here in the UK, unless you're very, very lucky to be very, very north and able to catch it kind of just as the sun sets. Um, but otherwise, scientifically, we are really looking for lots of different ways to study parts of the sun that we can't normally see because we get to block out all that really bright light from the centre of the solar disk. So... I mean, that's really key, isn't it? As you say, it, it makes it enormously hard to study the sun in, in normal time. So this provides a little window to be able to, to do that in a, in a far better way. Yeah, so the sun just doesn't stop kind of at the edge of where we can see it. It's got this extended atmosphere. It's called the corona, which is a really fascinating part of the sun because it's even hotter than the surface of the sun. And we don't actually fully understand why that is. So when the, the moon passes in front, we get this eclipse that blocks out the disk and we can actually see this corona and make measurements of its structure and temperature and things like that. I guess for you as well, it's one of those exciting moments where people really, they, they get into science and it's something that everybody can, everybody can see and everybody can be involved with. Exactly. So when you're in the path of totality, it is truly magical. Even scientists will tell you it's a magical experience because you're in the daylight, it suddenly goes dark and everything changes and the, the sounds around you change, the temperature changes, the light changes. It's, it's a fascinating thing. It's, a, it's that personal connection, I think, with our own solar system that makes it really interesting. And as with so many things in life, at the mercy of the weather as well. Yeah, that's always a shame, isn't it, when the, the weather comes in just at these wonderful events. But fingers crossed that some people will get to see a wonderful eclipse today. And it's about four and a half minutes or so, is that right, thereabouts? That's the maximum, that's right, yeah. So it, it does vary a little bit depending on where you are. Um, so it gets down to about a minute, I think, in the parts of Canada.